Hello, rock people. This is Dave the Geology Dude. This is the Big Rock at Martha Lake Airport Community Park. It is north of Seattle in Linwood, Washington. This boulder is one of the largest glacial erratics in western Washington state. Usually, erratics are moved by glaciers. Glaciers are extremely powerful and thick and can move house-sized boulders far beyond areas where rivers normally can transport rock downstream. In fact, glacial ice can move rock across multiple river systems and across the highlands that separate and divide different river systems. In contrast to erratics, most rocks that you find in your neighborhood probably move there from floods in a nearby river system or by storm waves along beaches or from rocks falling from slopes off of nearby hills. But these are fairly normal local processes. An erratic is a rock that does not match the rock types in a particular area. This happens when a rock has traveled unusually far from its original source area. For this to happen, an erratic rock has traveled in an unusual way compared to the way rocks are naturally transported in modern times. Rocks that become encased in glacial ice or in icebergs may become relocated to distal areas as erratics. Typically, erratics are made of very competent rocks, such as granite. Competent rocks can survive the abrasive wear within glacial ice. This granitic boulder on a Puget Sound beach near Olympia is another example. Smaller examples of erratics are also among these gravels located around the bottom of this boulder. However, structurally weaker rock often becomes pulverized into sand or dust-sized particles within glacial environments. The Puget Sound lowland area has received multiple glaciations in the past. This diagram from the Washington State Geological Survey is a good reference. During the last ice age, the Puget Lobe Glacier started in southwestern British Columbia in Canada. The glacial ice initially filled the lowland areas between the Cascade Range Mountains to the east and the Coastal Range Mountains which are nearer to the Pacific Coast in the west. Thereafter, the glacial ice sheet thickened and progressed southward into northwestern Washington State and then into the Puget Sound lowland. This glacier filled the entire region occupied by today's Seattle metropolitan area. At the Canadian border with the United States, the Puget Lobe Glacier was about a mile thick. It was a kilometer thick over the city of Seattle. Additionally, it was a half mile thick in Tacoma. And at Olympia, the thinning glacier still remained about one third of a kilometer thick. When the Ice Age ended about 12,000 years ago, the rocks and boulders progressively emerged from the melting ice. What is known as the Big Rock at Martha Lake Airport Park is an erratic identified as a greenstone. For obvious reason, the rock color is greenish, although greenstones often weather into brownish colors. This is because greenstone contains iron, which changes into rusty colors upon weathering. Now I can show the erratic without the nearby trees. Trees are great for adding scale to the picture, but geologists want to look at the rock, and biology can get in the way. Fortunately, I can digitally remove the biologic photobombs from this video. So, before moving to this location, where did the big rock originate? Some clues remain. The Martha Lake erratic is similar to nearby glacial erratics that are also greenstone. Examples include the Whidbey Island and Lake Stevens areas. But based on matching bedrock locations, potential source areas are in northwestern Washington. The nearest greenstone source areas for the Martha Lake erratic are around Deception Pass near the city of Anacortes, or from greenstone deposits near the cities of Cedro Woolley or Mount Vernon. I thank geologist Dave Tucker for this useful information. The Martha Lake erratic is located at Martha Lake Airport Community Park. It is in the northeastern part of the park. However, note that the Martha Lake erratic is not located at nearby Martha Lake Park. Martha Lake Park is in a different city park and is located in a different area. The Big Rock is at the Martha Lake Airport Community Park. This confused me on my first visit to the area. Additionally, the Martha Lake Erratic is popular among local rock climbers. Various climbing routes have been posted on the internet. If you want more information regarding climbing routes on this boulder, I have added references in the description area of this video. City parks may be closed, such as on snowy days and please abide by park regulations. And also, don't forget that geology isn't rocket science, it's rock science.